the illusions of this video are compass and flesh and nest. They'll also appear in that order. That's also the order the concepts are in my sketchbook. Although nest was drawn first and is much larger because it was the fourth time rendering the concept. Each draft varied in limb arrangement, but the core idea was the same. This was also like the best version of it, obviously. That's why I chose to paint it. For compass and flesh, it is sort of a variation of on your feet, although sort of darker, if that's possible. But to me, it's reminiscent of a picture I saw. I think it was a picture, or maybe it was a story I heard somewhere. In Sierra Leone, they play soccer with decapitated heads. Or so I heard. And this reminds me of that. Granted, the head isn't severed from the body. It's just incredibly deviated. With a show of agility, the figure rallies its head under its foot as its body wavers. It stands firmly on its opposite leg, while the torso is caught between a flail and a poor somersault sort of fall. Similarly, the body is torn by anguish and languish. The hand of the painting's forefront is contorted in a spasm, conveying the figure's inner turmoil, while the other hand sought out to catch the foot before it could pin down the rolling head. However, the palm is broken with a hole, and the foot and lanky leg are narrow enough to slip through, trapping the hand as well. The figure is stuck, assessing its options and reevaluating itself up to this point. I love the angularity of this painting, if that's a word, the angularity, um, yet it contains a sort of fluidity as well. I don't know if those are made up words, but those, that's what came to mind, that's how I describe it. I think I could have executed it better, but at the same time, it's the problem I had probably four paintings back, slash videos back, where the color balance is the problem, at least to me, rather than the painting as a whole. There were missteps, but I doubt the color balance would alter the meaning of the painting itself, and I think that's what I value a little bit more. It's sort of the Tuong Fu dilemma. Style versus substance. It has both, but one is more to my standard than the other. However, this issue appears rather mildly compared to Nest. Nest, as a sketch, was very refreshing, as it was a break from my more angsty visuals, so, at the same time, it is also foreign to me in what it conveys, which I can only describe as a new sort of animosity, apathy even. And I, as, as I say this, I know my other paintings have that undertone. This is overt. The whole point, really, I feel like, of the painting. The figure is also completely stagnant, which is atypical. And it feels very shameful when I look at it. The first glance is like, really catches you off guard because it's like, oh, maybe this is something like very sentimental. But no, it's something I think, ugh, it's like the word, a reprimand. Yeah, it's a visual reprimand. The Jane Austen quote comes to mind. I used to see it a lot when I was on Tumblr. Um... I am half agony, half hope, and I think that is very much the tone of this illusion, and I'm like, oof, who knew half agony and half hope would look so, so like, oof, scoldy, you know? The figure sits cross-legged, cradling its disjointed head that appears to have landed haphazardly in its lap. The body had given up. One hand stretches through the gaping torso and holds the head firmly. Whilst behind the body, the, fur the furthermost hand appears to have attempted to halt the other hand and it's apprehending the head. Is this gesture meant to console, preventing further harm or worsening of the circumstances, or to condemn? Perhaps both? In the chest of the torso, there is a cold blue eye looking down at the head. 
are the arms and the hands expressing words that the body can't say, although its maw is open. Action would be how this speaks, but what it says is very complicated to gather. In the end, I don't know how to feel about the feeling of the painting. All I know for sure is execution was messy, and by merging the two painting processes into one video, I hope to minimize the headache of them both, because they, the, the concept sketch, there was like so much, so many outcomes and mm, this is what they turned out to be i don't know so if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so i will in my next video thank you for watching